Okay, this is a short tutorial on the ionic bonding CFU, how we bond aluminum and oxygen, okay? So first we have to know what group aluminum is in. So by the atomic number, aluminum has an atomic number of 13. So the electronic structure would be 2, 8, 3. And since the valence electron is 3, we know that aluminum is in group three okay group three and therefore it has a charge of three plus so let's put that here aluminum three plus okay oxygen now by the way when you label it needs to be capital letter and lowercase some of you did this one okay no not lowercase it needs to be capital and lowercase okay Oxygen, on the other hand, has an atomic number of 8. Okay, therefore, its electronic structure is 2, 6. Valence electron is 6. Therefore, what group is it in? It's in group 6. And being in group 6, the charge is 2 negative. Okay, remember, metals, okay, metals want to give away electrons therefore when they give away electrons the protons will be greater than electrons giving them a positive charge non-metals on the other hand okay want to take electrons therefore the number of protons will be less than the electrons giving them a negative charge okay so remember that so now we know what the charge are, let's try to see how many aluminum and oxygen atoms we need for this compound. So since we have aluminum 3 plus, oxygen 2 minus, okay, and remember all compounds, okay, should have an overall charge of 0, okay, overall charge is 0. So how do we make this equal zero? If I only have one aluminum and one oxygen, this will have a charge of three plus two minus and gives you a total overall charge of plus. Cannot be because it needs to be zero. What if we do Al2 and O2? So three plus times 2 gives you 6 plus, 2 minus times 2 gives you 4 minus, and the overall charge is 2 plus. Cannot be, okay? So, you have to find a way so that when we add up the charges, it will be equal to 0. The easiest is to just, okay, get the charge. So, if the charge is 3, that means you need three oxygen if the charge is two that means you need two aluminum so let's see how that works okay so let's see if we're correct al 203 now three plus times two gives you six plus two minus times three gives you six minus equals zero so that is one tip on how you can get the chemical formula by using the charges okay so let's go to the next page now we know what the formula is we know it's al2o3 how do we do the dot cross first of all when you do the dot cross you also start with metal first do not do oxygen first metal and then non-metal okay so metal unless they tell you valence electrons only use all okay so aluminium first shell takes two next shell takes one two three four five six seven eight and then the charge is three plus so if you notice we said that aluminum has an atomic number of 13, right? But how come we only put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons when there should be 13 electrons? 
That's because three of its electrons will go to oxygen. Okay? That's why there's a three plus. In the beginning, number of protons equal the number of electrons. But since aluminum will give away three electrons, now you have 13 protons and 10 electrons. 13, okay, greater. 13 plus, 10 minus. That's how you end up with a charge of 3 plus, okay? Now, since we need two, you need to draw another one, okay? For the interest of time, I'm just going to copy and paste it, and that's how it should look like, on top of each other, on top of each other, okay? How about oxygen? We need three. So oxygen, we're using dots for oxygen, and then the next one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because remember, oxygen's atomic number is, oxygen's atomic number is eight, so that means eight protons, eight electrons, okay? But remember that we are taking some electrons from aluminum so that it will have a full outer shell because that is why um, atoms bond. They want a full outer shell. So this two X's come from aluminum, okay? So this now has a charge of two minus, why? Because now it has eight protons, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten electrons, okay? So eight plus 10 minus, the charge is two minus. That's why two minus okay and since we need three you need to draw three of these things okay oops so in the interest of time i'm just going to copy and paste paste and paste okay on top of each other that's how you show Al2 and oxygen 3, okay? And I hope this helps. Good luck. Chemistry is fantastic. Bye-bye.